it's your big buddy Brad. Let's go on an adventure together. I've got a buddy down the road who owns a store and it's time for him to sell now. So he called us. I want to let William tell you his story directly and I know you'll benefit from it. Maybe owning a country store or a burger joint, a deli, a bakery, pizza, barbecue, whatever that is, may be your jam. Well, I want to help you get your dream. And you can make money with this store. This store is doing great. And you get to hang out with your friends and family. Maybe your kids can help you. You meet great people who come into the store and you make lifelong relationships. It's a totally laid back area of the United States too. I also want to help you to not make mistakes like so many people do over and over again in business. William's my friend. So I asked him if he would stay on to help get you started. You know, help you with your first orders, kind of ease you into this store lifestyle, and he agreed to do it. This might help you and your family become financially free, and that would be great if I could help you do that. Buckle up, let's do this. Remember I talked to you a couple days ago about if your dream was a, a market, a deli, a general store, a little country store. I talked to William and he talked to Ken and here we are. So we've got this little store here, which is a local favorite for sale and it's gonna be turnkey. Just watch out for those guys right there. Trying to get it where it's quiet enough. You just gotta watch out for these little guys here, I'll tell you what. These are actually the hardest working boys you've ever seen. Great kids. A brand new roof on this building. It's, uh, what did he say it was, 30 by 62? I believe so, 30 by 62 or 32 by 60? And we'll verify that. That trailer does not have to stay. That can come or that can go. How do I, how do, I do that? This way. But this barn goes with this property and I believe it's just about an acre or acre and a half, I'll put it here. You could do so many things. The potential is really, the potential is really here to grow this business. Ken can give you all the details in a, in a PDF, but the store is doing super well and it could be doing so much better. For instance, you could do a lot of traffic, you get a lot of noise, huh? <laughs> Uh, you could be doing, you could use this as a wedding venue or you could do anything in this really. So, and then of course here you can increase revenue by adding the things that are profitable, the things that you enjoy and uh, make this store sing. You could double the income in the store in one year by just sitting down and having a plan and we can help you with that. We just bought, Ken and I just bought a, a business. They ran that business for 13 years and the best year they ever did we have almost tripled that this year, first year. So not even knowing anything about that business. But if you know about business, you're cruising. William has told me he'd be glad to stay on for a little while and uh, help you with your first orders and that sort of thing. And of course you guys can brainstorm together and you'll have your own ideas. So you take his experience, his, what would I do then if I knew what I knew now, you know, that sort of, sort of thing. And then with your ideas, and you should be able to double the business here in a, in a blank. For less than the cost of the land and the building and the barn and the cooler, not even including any of the equipment, there's tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment inside. I'm gonna let William tell you his story and that's gonna be the most fascinating part. Can I get a picture with you guys again? That's a motley looking crew right there. <laughs> you think it's motley looking? Yeah. How far do you guys live from here? Um, Pretty four close? And a half miles. Four and a half miles, well, that's not too bad. Thank you for all your help today. Thank you. All right, you're closed today, huh? Yeah. Closed on Mondays and Sundays. Yeah. It's a good catch up day, I guess, huh? Will, uh, William, I almost called you Willie, I apologize. There's Willie. Do people call you Willie or William? William. William, so never Willie. Uh, no. What size is this building? It's a 30 by 62. So 1,900 square feet, something like that. You guys want to be on camera? No. All block. It's all block. Inside, 
we put uh, three quarters, four inch strips with the uh, panel along the inside. And it insulated or no, just the block? Just the block. Okay. Actually, it was it's inch and a half, inch and a half styrofoam. Uh, okay. For insulation. Oh, perfect. That's good. That makes a difference. Oh, it does. And how is it heated with electric or gas or? Uh, electric furnaces. We've got two furnaces. What's one your for the bakery area and one for the front? What's your power bill run here a month? Between around, around four fifty a month. It's pretty reasonable, really, for all those coolers going. And you've got the walk-in out there as well, right? The walk-in cooler. Yeah. And that's electric. That's electric. So that runs everything. That's cheap. Yeah. My electric bill at home is 300 average. So 450 for a commercial business isn't yeah. too much at all. Let's just walk around. I'm going to just walk around and show the store. You can narrate and talk about what we've got here. It's just food or, and then maybe talk about what's your best sellers. In other words, if I wanted, if this was my dream to own a country store, did you always want to own a country store? Was this your dream? I always had a dream of being, of owning a bakery. <laughs> I talked about that early in our early marriage. We always talked about maybe sometime in the future having, having a bakery. And now we've got two daughters and they really enjoy the deli and the bakery. And they've done very well. And it's not because we don't enjoy it. It's just, uh, I've got four boys coming on and I really feel like I, I need something besides the door for the boys when they grow up. Mm -hmm. Well, the, your daughters are real personable, so yeah. you can tell that they enjoy it and they enjoy the people. They do. They really enjoy the people. What did you do before this? Uh, I was doing uh, storage sheds, building storage sheds, a uh, partnership with my brother Malcolm. And, and uh, we did that for six years. And then the church here, uh, we had a, we felt the calling to come labor in the church. And then they asked, well, you want to buy the store? And, uh, you know, Wilma was, uh, had the store and, and she needed more help and some of the help was leaving. And so we considered it and prayed about it. And, and uh, yeah, well. That's how it worked. Yeah, we'll, we'll come here and help her in the store. And, and uh, it's just been a real blessing. I really enjoy the customers. It's just a, that's a highlight of the business. Here. Sure. Well, it's a blessing having you here because everybody loves it. <laughs> yeah. I've told a few people about your thoughts of maybe selling and moving to the next chapter, and they're like, oh, no, they can't close. I said, no, no, don't worry about it. We're going to find somebody <laughs> who can yeah, take over. Yeah, we, we, really, really, we really want to see the store going on. There's a hard part to see it closing. You know, it just seems like it should go on, it serves the community well. Are you profitable here? I know you provide a lot of jobs too. It's it is profitable. It's we have, there's opportunity here. There's a lot of opportunity here. Um, we feel like if there's the time to expand the business maybe add on a little bit, add more product. And uh, we just feel like for our family, we're just not going to be able to handle that part of it. But, but, but as far as uh, opportunity here, it's opportunity is endless. There's one right on the main road here. Down the road, there's a Dollar General. A brand it's new big brand, Dollar General. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, it, it doesn't hurt us here because they don't have a deli, they don't have a bakery. Right. And fruits and vegetables would just do really well. That's one thing I really would like to get into would be the fruits and vegetables. I just don't have room. And just to add on a little bit would be, uh, wouldn't take much. I know that Wilma always has tomatoes and things like that. And sometimes I can't have them time right in my garden. And I want tomatoes and some basil for dinner on, on a summer night. And uh, it's, it's awful convenient to have it here so close. Yeah. What's your name? Matthias. Yeah. How old are you? 
Seven. You're a big guy for seven. Tall. <laughs> Yeah. The good thing with something like this is it truly can be a mom and pop, mom and pop operation. Mm -hmm. You could retire into this. You could have your kids work here. Be, it's a great place to keep your family close for sure. Yeah. yeah. And if cool. you like your wife or your husband, then it might be a good thing. Yeah. So here. <laughs> Hopefully you do. <laughs> yeah. So here's our bulk food. Yeah. This whole aisle here. Is bulk food. We get it in larger containers and uh, and bag it out. Okay. You know, oh. it comes in case lot. I mean, bulk. Yeah. And then we put it, we bag it out into containers and some in bags. So if you like Lucky Charms, are these the Luckies or are these the Charms? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. That's a, that's definitely a, a cult following right oh, there. They love those. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. So what is what is a number one seller of the bulk food items? Because I know I like a lot of these things, the salty, well, the candy, salty ones. The candy. candy is a big thing, and and that's another thing. If we if we would we I would like to have a lot of candy, but so far we've been here. You know, uh, there would be plenty of opportunity for more of that. And then yeah, just the oatmeal. A lot of people get the oatmeal and then the spices. Uh, do really do really well. I buy a lot of the spices because of the price point. It's so yeah. reasonable. And they're so fresh. They're really fresh, the, the spices. Like here's Italian seasoning, 94 cents. You know, it's, it doesn't weigh much, but, you know, that's a chili powder. You know, I mean, that's a lot of chili powder for four bucks. Yeah. You get dill weed and chives, parsley flakes. Yeah, I buy a lot of this stuff. That is enough to kill a cow. Cayenne pepper and $1.56. <laughs> Absolutely. And then this is more the salvage food. So this, this is like. Salvage foods that we get in banana boxes. We take it out, sort it. It's just whatever is in the box is in the box. It's just. And it's, so it could be short dated or. Yes. Yep. I mean, we damaged a lot of it is damaged just a little bit. Like this box of Cheerios here, she's buggled up a little bit, and they they get rid of it. They throw out the whole case sometimes, you know, just because there's and it's just uh, it's a blessing to you know be able to use that instead of throwing it in the dumpster. Oh yeah, yeah. We I mean we buy pasta and, and we buy all kinds of things for sure. So you've got hand dip ice cream here, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Is that popular? Oh, it is. Yeah, during the summer especially. Yeah, we're gonna go and turn on the lighter. And is that profitable? It's, I mean, I'm sure there's things that you know that are more profitable in the store. Oh, ice cream does very well. That's yes. it. Okay. It's very profitable there. And then the deli and the baker deli is really good. We we do very good on the deli. There's Yeah, and I mean, look at the prices, like Swiss cheese, $4.35, that's for a pound, right? Yes. And that's still profitable for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can imagine Kroger is getting $10 for that same cheese. <laughs> How much money they're making. And then you have a supplier here. You don't make, you don't make this no, ice cream in, no. in, in, uh, in house. No. Okay. But you make breads and things like that. Yeah, yeah, breads. Uh, pies, fried pies. Those are just and amazing. Donuts and cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. uh, we make a lot of. Uh, oh, what are they called? Those little cakes. I know you make cookies. Yeah, we do make cookies. Jam cakes. We make jam cakes. Jam cakes. Normally, jam cakes are Christmas. But we make jam cakes. We have Christmas all that all, all year. <laughs> Nothing wrong with jam that. Cakes, yeah, jam cakes. A lot of people just love them. Man. Really? Blackberry jam cakes. Yeah. We need to turn the lights on in the cooler too, please. All the coolers. Jam cakes. I, I asked Wilma what's her secret to those real crunchy cookies, and she said, "Well, 
She looked around. She says, can you keep a secret? And I said, yeah. She says, so can I. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm like, Wilma, come on. <laughs> you got to help me out here. <laughs> so let me just buzz through here. We don't have to look at every right, item for, sh a, for uh, sure. But uh, This is also bulk. Okay. Uh, canned goods we get from Walnut Creek. So Walnut Creek packages it for you. You don't have to package this. That's correct. So we've got all the jams and pickles. And well, a lot of this pickled stuff is just awesome. Pickled garlic. Ooh. You need to, boys, you need to go to bed with one of those. You just put one here between your cheek and gum. And you never get a cold. Of course, it keeps a lot of people away. That's probably why you don't get a cold. And then this is just salvage. So one one goes bad in the case and uh, it gets broken or whatever, and they just get rid of all of them. Yeah. Cans, Newman's own. Whoop, there you go, 75 cents. Well, this is certainly some stuff we use over and over. Hot sauce, everything. Mustard, mustard doesn't go bad, my goodness. Now, yeah, this is February 2023, a dollar, amazing. But this is not real profitable. This isn't your this profit is center. Our, this is not where we make our money. This right. is, this people is your, like it. It's your lost leader, yes. right. So, but you're not, you don't lose on this, right? No, it's just, we, just don't, we don't lose. It's just not really profitable. You're just no. not making And anything. I mean, my brother-in-law has a big store, and that, that's all he does. And he makes, he, 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 he does really good. Not but he does support. volume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. to support two families. Wow. Yeah, they, they did good. They had two families involved there. And they, Doing just fine. Yeah. How big is his store? Uh, his store, that, that's probably 60 by, 60 by, Probably the, the area where he's selling out of is 60 by 80, maybe. You know, wow. it's, it's a big store. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's big. So it's twice, two, three times this size. Yeah, yes. And that's all he does. You know, just this, so. How about chips? Chips. We sell a lot of those Grippos. Now, the Grippos guy, he just comes and he restocks. Yes. Right? That's correct. And then, then do you pay him for when? So, in other words, I don't know how it works. So he comes, he stocks the shelf, and he hands you a bill, and you pay him yes. for this, and then, then he comes back and he just yeah. Then if it's outdated, he take it. Oh, he takes it back. Give us refund. Full refund. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you can't go wrong. No. No. Yeah, that's right. That's great. You take credit cards and EBT, right? And then just other stuff, go cups. And, yeah, all kinds of stuff. That's just looking a little thin here. You usually have more stuff. Dog food and things. K cups, so you got K cups, twinings, tea, all kinds of stuff. And then this is frozen, right? Yeah. Now, who provides these uh, cases? Are these cases provided by a company, or do you own them? The, this, the refrigerator, oh, the we, freezer. Yeah, we own them. You own them. Yeah. Now, are these going to convey with uh, the sale of the store? Yeah, yeah, they'll stay right here. Just like they are. Yeah, good. All right. So this all, it's all included. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. That's awesome. Because it's one less thing I'd have to do. Yeah. If I, I mean, really. Mm -hmm. And that ice cream is the same ice cream as we're selling the cones. Okay. That's pretty reasonable. You got meats and eggs and butter. So you have a lot of the stuff that you need for everyday cooking. That's why I come here a lot. Yeah, that's why I come here a lot because we're all, you know, we're we're cooking all the time. We cook at home always. 
Do you have any of that, uh, the pig brains and milk? Do you have any more of those? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> Are you sure? Because I would really love to have some of those again. <laughs> Your daughter said, hey, I got just the thing for you. Come here. <laughs> we had so much fun with that. And you got the restrooms here. <laughs> oh, there you go. I scared that lady in there. Nice and clean, simple, easy to maintain. There you go. Floor drain there, floor drain here? No. No floor drain here. Uh, well, women take better care of the restrooms than men do, so you probably don't need a, a floor drain and a pressure washer like you do in the men's room. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> so what do you have going on here? What what uh, what do you use this, all this? Well, this section here is uh, the scales here that we use for the uh, for the bulk foods. For okay. For laying out bulk foods. Okay. Got it. So you literally just bring in these five-gallon buckets and... Uh, I'm bleeding. Uh, you literally bring in these five gallon buckets and then just dip them in and yeah. go. Okay. And we got some boxes box box. in the back. And this spits out the the uh, yeah. how much it is and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Okay. So you just type in it's going to be four ninety nine a pound and it calculates it. All right. So that's easy. Right, so this is where all the deli magic happens, right here. Simple. Simple enough. All right, so what do we got going on back here? Well, here's the kitchen. Pots and pans, the sink. <clears throat> and what is this, flour and sugar and that flour sort of Flour and sugar and... Donut mix, powder sugar. Here is the roll... There's oats, quick oats. Now that's why you make the cookies, right? Oatmeal cookies? That's right. Mm -hmm. Now you said you've always wanted to be, uh, be in the bakery business. I did. So it's either because you like baked goods or it was a whole lot easier than masonry work. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, thought it would be a, a good opportunity to work with the girls and... Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a blessing, and it's a great opportunity to work as a family. Mm -hmm. I heard that many times and didn't realize how important it was until my boys moved out. Oh, yeah. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> yep. So it is kind of important. You mix all your batters there. Proofer? Is this a proofer? It's a proofer. Okay. Yes. So you just slide the full sheets in there. And what does that do? Is that uh, just a little bit of a temperature or it's just humidity? Little, or? It's just a little bit of a temperature. Okay. And it gets it nice and warm to where it uh, rises. Good. And it's turbo oven? Yes. So that you can and that's bake gas. stuff. Ah, this is gas. That's a gas stove. So you can, you can really cook stuff evenly. Oh, yes. Jam it in, right? Mm-hmm. Speed rack? Not, is that a speed rack or no? Is that called a speed rack? I'm not sure. For all the all the sheets. All right, and then you've got that stuff. This is easy. These are yeah, how we, you uh, can take these sheets and put them in here, and they slide right in. They slide right in, huh? So you fill them here. Uh -huh. You mix the stuff there. You fill them here. It goes. It goes in. There and then simple. I like it. What do we got out here, William? Well, we got the cooler here. I love it back here. This is really nice. And a brand new roof on the building. Let me close the door. Whose chickens? Is it from across the street? I'm going to get the empty boxes out of here. Okay. Now, is it, this is a fairly new hydrant, no? It's a brand new. Brand new hydrant. Yeah. Ah, that's right. You brought the water in there. That's right. 
I said, I have to brag on your dad. We gave him a list of probably 10 things that had to be done. And most people, I'm here to tell you, most people would only probably do three or four and say, that's good enough. I'm not doing any more. And you guys have done all of them. So I want to thank you. That's a true story. Yeah, you got everything. You got the grass seed down, everything. The parking lot, all new, all new stone. It looks like, it looks like a new place. And of course the walk-in, you moved it, set it back up. How did they slide it? With just a skid loader? No, we brought a, we had a, a mini barn trailer. Okay. Picked it up, put it in, set it down. Easy. So tell me about the walk-in. Um, so yeah, we just have the cheese, all the cheese and the meat, and yeah, tomatoes here. We store our apples in here. And, it's just a, a really good, uh, it's been a really good cooler unit. And what's the temperature? Should be 40, right? It's 38. 38. Perfect. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really good. Uh, oh, you can store a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Do you know how big it is? It's 12 by 20. Sometimes I feel like I need to have one of these at my house. My freezer's full, my refrigerator's full. <laughs> and I still buy stuff. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> you could feed an army out of this. Now the property goes back to the creek, right? Or almost to the creek? Okay, that's almost to the earth. Yeah, it's almost to the creek. The other driveway and then almost to the creek. So it basically follows that fence line right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's this makes it a lot easier to understand. That's perfect. And this creek doesn't get up and flood anything no. here. No. No. Okay. Good. <laughs> I remember when we sold the place across the way. Just beautiful. Uh, Sylvan. Uh -huh. Yeah. Beautiful oh, we, place. We really enjoy Sylvan. William, if you were gonna stay on and increase we probably need to go inside because the, the truck tr track traffic will sound really loud if if you were gonna stay on what would you increase more of what department put down in the bakery because it's the most profitable? Mm -hmm. and it's not just the most fun for you, it's the most profitable. Yes, and okay. cooler items. So what we do is we get discount cooler items. Such as? There's a, there's a, a place in, uh, I started getting from, they make a, a route, they have a route down through here every two weeks, and it's they have hundreds of different items. Meat, cheese, uh, pastas, just you name it. So you mean like prepackaged mm -hmm. uh, in small or in the five gallon bucket? Like you're saying, no, like no, no, small packages. Okay. Ready for sale. What happens is, so uh, it's closed date. So they have an in date and an out date list. So the meat, all that, has a date where you need to freeze it. So, so some of the meat you need to keep frozen, but a lot of the things are you know closed date, but. It's it's um, it's you can do very good on that, and okay. that I would I was I would think expand in that area. So give me an example of like just two items for an example of what what you'd have from them that would be in the cooler that's very good for you profitable. Well, so I've got Pro profitable. Pound, I, I got pound packages of hamburger. It's, it was the ten. It was the ninety ten ratio. Of it was a very lean, very good hamburger, and I'm selling it for three ninety five a pound, and it's you can do very good on that. And then okay. cheese, um, it's just yeah, shredded cheese. Um, there's opportunity for animals, mm -hmm. but it's mostly meat and cheese. That meat we and cheese. Do. Okay. 
and that would be the cooler items, mm -hmm. and then the deli and the bakery. Excellent. And bulk food. So bulk food, what we were talking about over there, the candy, I would expand more in the candy. It's just, uh, people love that, and uh, it's really good and fresh. A lot of kids come in, or is it a lot of adults? No, a lot of adults. <laughs> like chocolate-covered peanuts. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, they just love that. So... I would, I would expand in, in the bulk food. That you get in big boxes and you put it out in small containers. That's great. I don't think we saw back in here. But this is just dry storage and... Yeah, so, so that's the bulk food storage. Okay. And then there are the furnaces the water heater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real simple. It's electric and it's easy, right? Mm -hmm. What would you tell your younger self on what to do? What did you do that you would have done differently? Here? Mm-hmm. I don't really know. We took off from Wilma. She was a good mentor for you, wasn't she? She was. Wilma, was just, she, Wilma started the store in 2012. Well, she took it on from her sister. Her sister and her husband started the store, they they decided to move on, to move to another state, and Wilma bought the store. And Wilma put a lot of hard work and time into the store, and she, she loved the store, the customers. The customers really loved Wilma. Sure. And she was a very good person. And so Wilma, we just came in and there was really nothing that we really wanted to change uh, from what she was doing. And you helped each other. And we helped each other. She was a very good mentor. And uh, whoever whoever buys this, I would be very happy to give them, help them along and help them, you know, with some questions they would have. Great. So you'd be willing to maybe even stay on for a week or so? Oh, I would. Yeah, all that stuff would be important because when you come, you don't, you don't know where to start, I would That's imagine. Right. That's right. Now, you could certainly increase the deli. You could increase the bakery. We could also do hamburgers or put a smoker out back and have barbecue that you could put in the coolers. And, like, there's a lot of things. You mentioned it's kind of unlimited, right? And so it's, it's just opportunities are unlimited. Whatever you would be interested in. Well, they don't just put those Dollar Generals in just anywhere, just willy-nilly. Mm -hmm. They're put in for a reason in a strategic spot. And how far is that down the road? Is it a mile and a half? I it would say about a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. and then right beside the Dollar General, they're putting in storage units. Yeah. Just going in. And it's, you know, there's a reason they're, they're putting them in there. I mean, there's people here, there's people. Uh, 68 is just... Uh, well, it's a scenic byway. It's the Route 66 of Kentucky. It goes diagonally across the whole state. So it tells you something. Yeah. They have the big yard sales and all that stuff. It's <laughs> kind of fun. You know when the 68 yard sale is? It's the hottest day of the year. That's when it is. <laughs> it seems that way anyway, doesn't it? <laughs> 127.2, I think, yeah. it's the hottest day. Here we go. I want to show you inside the barn. How, how big is the barn, William? Okay, so 40 by 60 this 60. way, and then an 18 foot lean to that's 60 foot. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of square footage. And like I said, that trailer can go or it can stay or whatever you want to do with it. It's not a problem. I said to him, I said, that really looks ugly. He goes, Yeah, but I use it. I'm like, Oh, okay, I understand. <laughs> so, right, what are you going to do? But you might not want to use it. Now, what do you what do you store in there? You store bulk bulk foods and no, things. It's just our salvage groceries. Salvage uh, groceries. Uh, banana, you know, the bent down stuff. Yeah, and then also we've got to go in that little uh, office. I don't want to go in the office. Okay. <laughs> well, if, it's, well, <laughs> it's so small you'd have to step outside to change your mind, right? <laughs>
so what's it's the deal? A little catch it all. It's a catch it all. Well, we all have a little bit of that. <clears throat> what do you got in here? Oh, this is a nice storage room. There is nothing wrong with that. Wonderful. Wonderful. You gonna sell me that tractor, William? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, that's when that's how you make extra money. You sell stuff that's not yours. <laughs> but then we don't get the money. Well, yeah, no. And they also have a place for you. <laughs> A place where you probably don't want to be. The food's not as good as your mom's there, I don't think. <laughs> this is a great barn. Wish I had. I've got a barn like this at my house, but it's full. Full stuff. Let's run around back here. Yeah, that's a nice lean to. Who put this on? Did did uh, Melvin put this on with you? I got a nice room here. That could be an office too, huh? It would be a funny office. Refrigerators back there and a buggy. A buggy and the fuel tank. Yeah. Why does that look weird together? <laughs> <laughs> buggy and a fuel tank. Did you and Melvin put this on? No. It was on before. Oh, and one of my sister's husband, when they bought the store here, they put it on. Well, it sure is nice. It's handy. I would love to have this on my barn. I need a place for my tractor. This would be perfect. Yeah. Ah. Well, this has been great. William, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, this is my pleasure. Look forward to doing business with you. I love to hear your story, and I think all our viewers will too. Bye. Say goodbye, boys. Bye. Say ciao. Ciao, it's Italian. Ciao. Ciao. There you go. <laughs> What do you say in German? Goodbye. Yes. Just goodbye. It's good. I like it. <laughs> I can't wait to hear your opinions. So comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash home finder to tell us what your ideal property looks like and we'll send it to you. Right, Mojo?